harder on me. So a quick rundown of the wiring on this. You've got a coolant switch or redundant coolant sensor right here. This will be your throttle lever. This is your fuel shut off. This is the wiring fuel to shut off. Black wire is ground. Red wire would be ignition or positive with the key on. White wire is wired into your starter wire. So when you hit the starter, this will engage and pull it in and then the red wire will hold it in until you actually turn the key off and then it'll shut it back off. Down here you've got an oil sensor and if you see that brass piece there that's my mechanical brass uh, fitting to hook up to the oil gauge just to prove. Here you've got your power steering pump. The larger line is the return line if you can see with the radiator clamp. The line on the back is your pressure line to go out to the power steering. Can't think of anything else on this side. Obviously this is the intake. This will be plumbed up to an intercooler. And then another routing will be on the other side. Pretty basic. This side you've got the alternator wiring. Down here you've got a redundant oil pressure sensor. This is the coolant coming from the radiator into the engine. This would be a heater core return. Up here you'd have heating uh, I'm sorry, coolant going to your heater. And then this will be antifreeze going back to the radiator. Down here, this white wire is the signal wire for the starter. When you turn the key, it will engage the starter. This fat red wire is the obvious power wire. And then you've got a ground that is bolted into the block back in there. Uh, beyond that, there's not much to really explain. Anything else, give me a call.